Wayne Vols, Profits Unlimited, live with another road fuel coming to you from the GIE Plus Expo here in Louisville, Kentucky for Turfs Up Radio. I am sitting here at the Cutlass, well actually I'm not sitting, I'm standing, at the Cutlass Moor Blades speaking with Brian and Stephen Coons. And I, I was walking down the aisleway and I'm looking at this thing and it it looks like a boomerang that's been put together. It's got four blades hanging off the side of it, and I'm thinking, all right, looks like one of those little ninja things you throw, you know? <laughs> those You've done that before. Have you? Yeah. Does it work? Uh, well, <laughs> try it. You, don't try this at home, right? Don't. Try, <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell 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 our listeners here on Turf Up Radio what you got. So basically, we got a mower blade, and it's a four four tip mower blade, and it's got um, removable tips. So Whenever you go to, um, instead of sharpening your blade, you just pop off these removable tips and, um, and sharpen them, basically. And, and the other thing is it'll take impact from if you hit something. Absolutely. I know he was showing me a blade here, and these are, these are I don't know exact length, what, four and a half, five inches maybe? Mm-hmm. What, the, the, five inch. Yeah. It's a five inch blade, and uh, they just easily come off and on. So, you know, being a commercial landscaper myself for 42 years, I hadn't shared that with y'all yet, but uh, I am. Okay. You know, I, I've hit some things before, yeah. you know, and that was my first question. What happened if you hit something with it? So uh, Brian pulls out this blade, their test blade, and he says, well, here's what happens when you hit a one-inch bolt. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it damaged it, but, I mean, it's not as tore up as you think. But what's the advantage of hitting a one-inch bolt with your blade versus hitting it with a fixed position blade? Well, that's a good question because basically if you hit something, these tips will actually swing back out of the way and it will save your spindle. And the center hub stays on your mower, so you just change the tips. You don't actually change the hub. Everything. So instead of having a problem with my spindle or hub or tearing up a $30 blade, what's my replacement on yours? So every tip is seven fifty dollars a piece. Okay. So. How long do they last under normal conditions, assuming we're not running over fire hydrants and water meters and, you know, concrete blocks and, you know, for, but the reality of that is sometimes we're running over that stuff, but, you know, if we're mowing normally, what's the lifespan of one of those? Well, usually you can, for normal uh, uh, residential use, you can go for maybe one or two sets uh, for the whole summer. Awesome. And what's the frequency you guys uh, tell people they ought to sharpen those? Um, well, it really depends uh, because these are hardened uh, spring steel, so they, they hold their edge a lot longer than a standard blade. But obviously, if you go into sand or something like that, it'll wear it down just like a regular blade would. I got gotcha. you. Now, speaking of sand, is this an applicable uh, blade for people, you know, in a, along the coast, you know, whether it's northeast coast, southern, western coast, uh, for guys that are mowing warm season grasses where they do have a lot of sand and, you know, the abuse that the sand gives blades? Yeah, so we actually have a, uh, and I didn't tell you this, but we have a low lift blade for Are that. Are you keeping secrets from me? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it doesn't cr- create as much uh, suction to suck up the uh, the, gr- the grass okay, and everything. Okay, so it's not pulling it up. It's not the yes. pulling the sand up into the blade. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And I notice you got one that has four blades on it and one that's got two blades on it. If you don't mind telling our listeners a uh, little bit of what's the advantage of either or. So. Basically, the uh, the four tip one it'll create uh, create more wind flow, throw the grass better. The two tip one is more of like our economy version. You still have the replaceable swinging tips, but you have the uh, you have two tips instead of four. I got gotcha. you. So when you go to replace these, it'll cost less to replace two tips. Um, is the lift capacity going to be different as far as, you know, for cutting wet grass? Am I better off with four under there spinning with additional lift? Or am I going to get more lift off of your two that's designed for wet grass? You'll be better off using the four tip for uh, The four wet tip grass. for more lift than wet grass? Yep. Discharge. Cool. Now, the, the, the hole size, is that standard spindle size? Or what, what does somebody have to, how, how do I know I'm going to get the right one for my X brand lawnmower? So basically, uh, what we need from from you is your uh, the mower or the blade size from length the length of the blade yes. tip to tip, and then the center we need the uh, the hub size, and then usually we ask for the blade part number as well. Then we cross reference it, make sure we got the exact exact blade that you need. Sounds like you got an awesome product here, man. How'd y'all come up with this? Well, it was it wasn't our idea. Our dad actually came up with this uh, about five years ago. And um, he recently passed away, so us two brothers are taking taking on the business. 
I congratulate you guys on running with it. I'm sure he's proud of you guys doing this. And, you know, it's tough, especially you guys are young to lose your dad like that. So, uh, man, my condolences on that for sure. So, I know you guys are going to do great with this. He's going to be proud of you all. And I can't wait next year to talk to you guys. And you tell me, hey, Wayne, man, you ain't going to believe how great our blades are doing. Because they look good, man, for real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you how somebody get a hold of you guys if they were interested? Uh, we have a website, cutlessblades.com, or we have a, a phone number as well. The phone number is 800-608-5973, and the website is cutlassblades.com. All right, so that's C-U-T-L-A-S-S, blades.com. Yep. These guys will hook you up. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Stephen.